Brand new for the 2023 Season 1 build is our Active Reset feature. Active Reset allows you to practice sections of a track without having to reset the car and warm it up again. Whether it's difficult corners, pit entries, or even racing starts, drivers can perfect their racecraft like never before. Keep in mind, this feature is only accessible in solo test sessions. We're not trying to vaporize anyone else on track. This means that this feature will not work in hosted, leagues, AI, time attacks, or official race sessions. In order to map the controls that come with this feature, create a test session, head to the options menu while in sim, and navigate to the control tab found on the bottom list of the options screen. Scrolling down, you'll find the other controls section and these new entries which you will need to map. All right, let's head out on track and give this new feature a shot. First, we need to set our start point, where we'll warp to once we use this feature. To do so, press the control map to Active Reset Save Start Point. Now, in order to warp back to that point, you'll want to drive until you reach your desired endpoint. Once you get there, press the control map to Active Reset Run. Presto, you're back at your start point. Keep in mind, we'll be blending your wheel and pedal inputs to help smooth out any sudden inputs. This will even allow you to reset in the middle of a corner at any speed. Want to add a little delay once you warp back? Continue to hold the Active Reset Run button and the sim will pause at your start point. Then, just let go when you are ready and continue on with your run. Okay, so it's all well and good breaking the space-time continuum, but how do you measure your performance through this area? Part of the new Active Reset system is a new Delta Bar display that you can cycle to on screen. By default, the Active Reset sector will be created from your Active Reset Save Start Point and from your first use of the Active Reset Run Control. Once you run through your first attempt in your custom sector, the time will be saved and you can warp back and try it again. You can also edit the Delta Bar timing lines independently of the initial Active Reset Save Start Point with the Custom Sector controls. Custom Sector Mark Start Point will allow you to move where the Delta Bar recording begins and Custom Sector Mark End Point will allow you to move where the Delta Bar recording ends. For example, you could set your Active Reset Save Start Point before a corner, then set your Custom Sector Mark Start Point on corner exit and your custom sector mark endpoint at the end of a straightaway to measure how well you are exiting that corner. Once you cross the custom sector mark endpoint, use Active Reset Run to have another go. While you're learning the new Active Reset feature, here's a couple suggestions on use cases for it. For a standing start, line up on the grid Set your Active Reset Save Start Point, perform your start sequence, and once complete, use Active Reset Run to try it again. For a rolling start, approach the starting zone at pace speed, press the Active Reset Save Start Point just before the green flag would be thrown, and then, once you're up to speed, use Active Reset Run to try it again. For pit road entry, set your Active Reset Save Start Point a corner away from the pits. And once you are safely on pit road, use Active Reset Run to try your pit entry again. Finally, a couple reminders as you use this new feature. Active Reset will save your car's position, speed, wheel input, in-car adjustments, setup, fuel level, and tire wear as well as the track state at that moment of use. It will not save the time of day or weather conditions at the moment Active Reset Save Start Point is used. If you make a setup change via the garage, 
you'll need to set new active reset parameters. The stored active reset parameters will be removed once you save your setup changes and leave the garage. And that's all there is to it. We hope you enjoyed this brand new tool coming to iRacing as part of the 2023 Season 1 build.